Pebble's, uh, Pebble's a watch, uh, a smartwatch that talks to your iPhone or Android smartphone. Um, you can customize the watch fairly easily by downloading uh, custom watch faces, different watch faces, um, new apps, and load them onto your watch wirelessly. So it's kind of the best, the best watch in the world. Do you want to show us the watch? Yeah, sure. So the watch, um, it's it's fairly small. We've been working on smart watches for about uh, uh, about five, four years now. And we've made a couple different versions. Um, this is the latest one. It's called Pebble, and it's smaller than the other ones that we've worked on. Um, it's much. I think it looks it looks much better. We focused on the design quite a bit. Uh, we have a pretty excellent um, industrial designer named Steve. He, uh, he he killed the design. I think on this one, it's really good. Yeah, this is the, it's a prototype, but it shows off the exact display that we're using and uh, the size and the, and the strap and everything. Um, it's coming. It comes in a couple of different colors. Uh, this is the black one. We've also got a white and a red one. And one of the cool things that we did with Kickstarter is that you can. Uh, if you, if you choose to back the color version, um, you can actually vote on a fourth color that we'll make. So if enough people vote for it, we'll make whatever color they want, which I guess would be kind of weird, <laughs> potentially. Are there any restrictions? Or no, we not allowed to do anything. I think we're open to anything. Um, yeah, so the watch, uh, it runs a lot of really cool apps. It, we sort of built it as a sports and fitness watch at the beginning, uh, so it's made out of pretty lightweight plastics and rubbers. So it's great for going for a run, cycling, uh, swimming, golfing, all kinds of stuff. Um, and then it talks to your phone. So if you have any of those sports apps running on your phone, a lot of them are going to be able to talk to the watch and uh, interface. And one thing I've heard is that even though it has the interactive display, the battery life is actually not something that you particularly have to worry about, right? Yeah, to be able to get the battery life up to seven days, we've incorporated an e-paper display. It's similar to the Kindle one, but not exactly the same technology. Uh, but it means that it's absolutely beautiful outdoors, you know, great visibility. And it also helps the battery last for seven days. Um, one of the cool things that we did with this display is that, unlike a lot of other sort of e-paper displays, we've managed to get a 30 frame per second refresh rate on it, so it spins and the animations look really great. Um, just like all the all the video, all, all the um, animations in the Kickstarter video were the actual display. They weren't just simulated. Yeah. No, they're so the, the prototypes then they they work to the extent that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're not finished yet. We're shipping. In fall, but right. uh, this is the display. Um, so what, you know, everyone's probably seen the video, but what, what, what are like the features that were like the hardest for you guys to make sure happened, or like what was most important for you in the design? Yeah, so we, we really wanted to emphasize a couple things with this. One is that it's, it's a companion to your phone, it's, it doesn't replace your phone, um, so you still need to have your phone within you know, 20 or 30 feet or something like that. But it's great for the times when you're, you know, cycling and you just want to see uh, who's calling or who's emailing you without having to take your phone from your pocket. Around the house, it's cool, you can control your music from the watch. So if you leave your iPhone or whatever in a cradle to listen to music, you can change tracks and stuff like that in the watch. And it all works over Bluetooth, right? Exactly. Yeah. All goes over Bluetooth. Are you guys um, planning on do, trying to do anything with non-iPhone smartphones? Yeah, it works uh, totally with Android as well. Okay, and you've, you've like, tested that? And, yeah. You know. uh, why do you think that you guys didn't go for an iPhone watch right off the bat. Oh, so it wasn't actually possible until Apple released the operating system upgrade in 2011. So when they released iOS 5, that's when it became possible. Just because of how you could communicate and interact? Yeah, there weren't, um, it's a bit technical, but there, there weren't enough uh, application layers that we can connect to um, on the iPhone, and now, now there are. Cool. Um, well, that's about all the time we have, Eric. Thank you cool. so much. Thanks.